Hello, it's Friday, May 1st, and welcome to Minutes That Matter. Well, yesterday we began to look at Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, and Christ's second outwardly focused beatitude, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. And we understood that the peace that Christ is talking about is not what we usually think of when it comes to peace. Rather than addressing conflict between peoples and nations, Christ is addressing man's conflict with God. And so because of sin, we are enemies of God, Colossians 1.21. We are unable to make peace with God through our own efforts, Ephesians 2.8.9. And so God reached out in mercy, love, and grace to his enemies and made a way for them to have peace with him through the sacrifice of his only son, Jesus Christ, Romans 5, 1 through 11. Again, if you've not yet done so, we encourage you to make peace with God through Christ. Now, look in the video description below if you wanna see how to do that. But now, I want us to see what it means to be a peacemaker in Christ's kingdom. There are three characteristics of being a peacemaker. Foundationally, you cannot be a peacemaker in Christ's kingdom until you are a citizen of Christ's kingdom. Therefore, a person must have made peace with God through Jesus Christ. Only those who know the author of peace can be a peacemaker. But then connected to the first characteristic is obedience and seeking to grow into the image of our king and peacemaker, Jesus. And here's why this is important. The disobedient, selfish Christian is not suited to be an ambassador of peace if they're still living like those who are at war with God. The second characteristic of being a peacemaker is that citizens of Christ's kingdom will seek other people out to disciple them to make peace with God. We are stewards of the truth. We now know and have. We are humble in our dealings with other people because we remember the pit from which we were dug. Remember, friends, the relationship between this beatitude and the first. The peacemaker is a beggar who has been fed and who is now called to help uh, feed others. We are to personally and intentionally proclaim the gospel of peace for salvation, but then we are to help each other solve problems to grow up into the image of Jesus Christ, which leads us to the third characteristic. We are to find points of agreement. And here's what I mean by that. You see, the best way to avoid destructive conflict is to invite respectful disagreement. Yes, wrong theology, wrong standards, wrong beliefs, and wrong attitudes must be faced and dealt with. But they're usually not the best places to start the process of witnessing or peacemaking. God's people are to contend without being contentious. We are to disagree without being disagreeable. We are to confront without being abusive. And of course, we are to speak the truth in love, but it's that in love thing that we sometimes struggle with as we seek to bring peace. Even with a lost person or a Christian who is hostile and acting ungodly, we still have points of agreement. We start there and we work our way to the truth. Well, finally, what is the benefit of, of having peace? And Christ says, they shall be called the sons of God. Friends, peacemaking is a primary characteristic of God's children. A person who is not being a peacemaker either is not a Christian or is a disobedient Christian. That is the essence of the kingdom. Romans 14, 17 says, For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. And remember, just because you are a peacemaker doesn't mean you will always have peace in this world. Christ said persecution would come with following him. Because the world hates him, they will hate those who follow him. But that can't take away the peace of God in our hearts. Someday, Jesus Christ, as the final judge, will give out awards. And it's not going to be the Nobel Peace Prize, but rewards for righteous living and for those who bring peace. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Well, if this was an encouragement to you, hit the thumbs up button. If you're not yet a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell button if you want to know when a new video comes out. And please share this on social video, especially this video and the one previous. And from all of us at Minutes That Matter, have a blessed day.